This is the most important video I have ever done and this is important that people know about this because not I know not many people will know about this. This is the real truth about the Freemasons and what they really worship and what they've really been hiding and worshipping for generations and thousands of years. This is what they really worship and what it's all connected to. Basically this false god that's called Jabalon, the secret name for God in Freemasonry. The name of the supreme being which all free all Masons must accept before joining the Lodge is Jabalon. This is confirmed in Freemason Jasper Ridley's book the Freemasons where he twice refers to the Masonic God as being Jabalon as revealed in the Royal Ark degree. Jabalon is a compositive name made up of three parts, Jah being the Hebrew name of, for God. Baal refers to the Babylonian deity Baal and On refers to the Egyptian Deity Osiris. So how goes the window that the all seeing grand architect of the universe is a Christian God because Baal is condemned in the Old Testament as being a false God in fact Baal worship involved human sacrifice. See but many not many people know that Baal was actually a false god. This is not lies, you can look it up yourself if you really want to. Baal is with a false god, that's why these Egyptians worshipped in Babylonian. A false god worship. He served and worshipped Baal and provoked the Lord. the God of Israel to anger just as his father had done so. This is biblical scripture that when you see the name Baal, it's actually a false god. This person basically worshipped a false god and provoked God. All the lower degrees indicates of Freemasonry are ignorant of what transpires in the higher degrees because if they fully understood they would be horrified to know that there is a massive gulf between true Christianity and the fiery pagan fertility cult that Freemasonry really is and so it indicates or led, led up the Masonic ladder slowly in small baby steps so they don't find out too much too quickly they are del deliberately led into the mysteries slowly all the time closely watched and monitored by the adepts and they and if they show signs of discomfort at any stage with what they are learning they simply won't be allowed to gain knowledge or the higher or more luciferic degrees the symbols are all about sex magic the compass is the man the square the woman and the g in the center stands for generation and the grand architect of the universe who is the masonic god and in the best masonic tradition is represented as aphelus Masonic author J.S.M. Wood states, Thus we see that the hammer of the great gravel and the towel were additionally the same, and this is a natural evolution of symbol symbols for the towel crosses involved from the philos, and that is the symbol of God the Creator, Ward Freemasonry and the Ancient Gods. Naturally, the innocent new Masonic intertakes his pa patroness and told that the G in the compass and square stands for geometry, which is, is, does also, but the point is, they are not told the full picture. Not only does the Masonic god Jabalon include Baal 
in its god trinity, but it also includes the Egyptian god Osiris. But again, the Bible condemns all false god worship. So this is what they basically do. They worship false gods, as we already know. Many people might not know. This is what they really do. If if somebody... So basically what it's saying, if somebody is not comfortable with basically what they're being teached in the Freemasonry, they won't, because the really, really powerful up Freemasonries are not going to let somebody that's new just know all the knowledge that they know. Because there's some stuff that the Illuminati do not want you to know at all. Stuff like this. For even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is but one, the Father from whom all things came and from whom we live. You shall have no other gods before me, you shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. But as it says in First Corinthians, it basically says if there is other gods, that they're not real gods, they're not the creator. This is why God warns us, these other so-called gods like Allah, um, the god of destruction, Godish, Shiva, all them, they're not real gods, they're evil, they're false gods, but as it says in Corinthians, for even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as indeed are many lords, gods and many lords, yet for us there is but one God. We only have one God, because there is only one God, the others are fake, the false, the Hindu God is just created by the, the devil to basically make people worship false gods. There's only one true God and it's M-U-L. Freemasonry is identifying herself with Baal, the false deity that Freemasonry see secretly reverses. Freemasonry has aligned herself with God's enemy, the Green Man. The Green Man. Who is the Green Man, if you don't know? The Green Man is Osiris. It's known as Osiris the Green Man. The Serpent. The Deceiver. The first Pharisee Paul, a.k.a. Saint Satan, and she is turning her back on the true God. It's no ancient accident that the fifth, 25th degree of Scottish Rite. Freemasonry is called the Knight of Brazen Serpent, very brazen indeed. See, not many people would even know about this because Freemasonry goes back way, way back, past the Scottish, it goes way back. I will acknowledge again that most originally Freemasons do not know, knowledgeably worship Baal Satan, but the architects of Freemasonry, the one who devised the rituals, treasure and cherish the symbols and guard the secrets for the adepts, sure do. Mike S. Also, you have avoided the question I asked at the end of Do you believe that all Muslims are wrong in their beliefs or only people who follow the God you believe in the Bible? You are entitled to your opinion. There's only one God. My point is that Freemasonry cannot to claim to be compatible with Christianity because she quite clearly doesn't believe the word of God. It defiles God by honoring other deities that God has condemned. I'm not alone in saying 
saying that Freemasonry is incompatible with Christianity. Many churches hold the same view that Freemasonry is blasphemous and heretical. And it's very true because what they believe is lies. It's lies and an agenda. Because this is who they really worship. They hide basically behind this name Jabal. Officials of the Church of England unwillingly accepted the results of a church inquiry which accused Freemasonry of being a blasphemous and heretic at their annual summer policy making session in the in York, England. The General Simrod approved the report by a vote with five Simrod degrees. The Simrod degrees. The report stated from the evidence we have received, it is clear that some Christians have found the impact of Masonic rituals disturbing and a few perceive them as positively evil. The chairman of the community soldiers, Freemasonry, has been a matter of concern to Christians both in this country and elsewhere. The religious aspects of Freemasonry, such as the use of ritual prayers, chapel lanes, and an unorthodox doctrine of works, righteousness apart from God's grace, were cited by the bishops of the Angelic Simrod as matters of concern. The Simrod's primary theological objection centered upon masonry, masonry's use of the word. Jabalon, which is the name for the deity in Masonic rituals and is an amalgamation of Semitic, Hebrew, and Egyptian titles for God. The community report concluded that the Masonic rituals were blasphemous because God's name must not be taken in vain nor can it be replaced by an armaglan of the names of pagan deities. The report went on to say that many Christians have withdrawn from Masonic lodges previously because they perceive their membership of it as a being in conflict with their Christian witness and belief. The church in England also recommended that their members avoid Masonic lodges. One. And then we got this, this is the truth behind Jabalon, because the higher trinity of man's being must be present before soul union can take place. The often royal ark where can only be given in groups of three, their right hands are then raised above their heads, or they give a at low breath the word ja alone Jehovah God the greatest but most terrible moment in the life of a mason the three supreme officers of the lodge with three separate keys unlock the wooden box with the secret of do of secrets and give him to read a slip of paper upon which is written the name of the the God whose follower he was Jabalon, the axis of death. Over my many years of exposing the lies, lies and evils of Freemason, the Ordo Temple, the Ross, and other treacherous cultic secret societies, I have been charged by many Masons. The typical complaint is, how dare you say such things about Masonry? Why are... Uh, I'll have you know I am a Christian and there is nothing in the lodge or its rituals that would not be acceptable by to my Christian faith. Of course it is super easy, almost like taking candy from a baby to disuse the Masonic weed uh, and complainer hovering that you or I have slandered the Masons by denying their, their orders Christian abilities. After all, the, there are scores of points to make that blow apart. The silly notion that 
the Masonic Lodge or similar groups are even very Christian in nature. But the easiest way to handle such a complaint is to ask the Mason if he has reached the Royal Arc Mason ritual level of inquiry. And 13th degree in the Scottish Rite. If he answers yes, then uh, oh, he is in big trouble. What about Jabalon? I then ask him about the name of his scared god revealed in the royal arch, the grey ritual that is. I ask him about Jabalon, and usually I can hear either a long interpreted slutter, stutter or else simply a great gasping sound. Generally, that's, that ends the discussion right there, and Mason definitely does not want to publicly discuss the name Jebelon, anything but that. Bam, he is gone, and I don't understand why. A friend of mine who is an ex-Mason, an ex-Mormon, now heads up Christian a Christian ministry, aimed at helping men get out of these occults in a book that Ed the dark side of Freemasonry that the Masons is the first denied knowledge of the scared name of their god and then basically finds out that the name of the Mason deity is definitely not Jesus, the name above every other name. The lost name of God. The Blue Lodge Masons am composing the first three degrees of Masonry are instructed that they are seeking the word lost word or the lost name of God. It isn't until they reach the level of Royal Ark Masonry, 7th degree York right, that they discover that the lost name of God wasn't lost after all. It's at this level that they learn the scared name of Masonry's God. They find that the scared name of the Masonic God is composed of three names representing the three identities of God. It is so scared it takes three royal arc masons to be able to speak it. The three masons grip hands high and low and chant Jabalon, 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 Jeho Jehovah. The name Jabalon has three representing a composed god made up of three deities the masonic material and identifies the three as yah or yahweh baal and osiris logically the name should be spelled yah baal on that but duncan's masonic ritual and monitor admits that over the three years the spelling has been corrupted by Freemasonry until it reached its current form one. What these men are doing is worshipping a demon god so far removed from the real god that this worship must surely defile the holiness of God and guarantee those who pronounce the name is such certainly a swift ride to hell. A Freemason who is part of a group called the Brotherhood of Light, is a developer and author of an entire course of ancient Masonic masonry having to do with the spiritual significance of Masonic rituals, degrees and symbols. Zane points out that the name Jabalon is a masonry grand or word the name of the opponent deity he further shows the significance of the fact that the name Jabalon has nine letters and is made up of three symbols Jabalon in the ritual for the royal arc degree since there are three royal arc masons pronouncing the name three times each altogether says Zane 27 are pronounced this, he explains, represents for 27 days. It takes the moon to pass through the circle of zodiac signs. Interestingly, in the ritual drama, the Freemasons doing the pronouncing of are said to have come from Babylon. 
So we have a ritual, the 33 degree in the Scottish Rite and the 7th in the York Rite in which three masters come from Babylon to instruct in the candidate on how to build the royal ark symbology, how to rebuild the Jewish temple in Jerusalem and now establish the kingdom of the elite and the devil god on earth. The lost word found. Moreover, the, the three messengers from Babylon inform the candidate that the true name of God, the name that has been lost for so long, is not Jesus but is Jabalon. They can soon omit mention of the fact that this is in fact the name of most its devil God that the name is an unholy and, unbla and blasphemous cognitive of Jeho Jahweh, Baal and Osiris or On. On is a city in Egypt where the worship of the sun god Osiris is alleged to have begun somehow. Many in masonry today honor and reverse Osiris under the name of On. The name of his city curiously spelled on in the name Jabalon. No wonder Mason Masonic authority Wistenberg in his highly for by for of Mason by Masons the meaning of Masonry proclaims this degree so virtual to the transformation of the candidate's life. He even suggests that in Obtaining this degree, one examines the attainment of a new light and new order of life. The Royal Art Degree then provides, provides a sim, super mealy high level of thought and instruction for the Mason attaining a born again or demon possessed. What does Winston Berg mean when he says that? The adept has attained a new order of life. I believe the candidate receives a counterfeit born again experience, receiving the very spirit of Lucifer into his bosom as a result of conforming to the requirements of this degree and accepting the devil god Jablon as the scared name of God. The man rising to this level in masonry or a similar set becomes demon possessed, full of the devil, headed for hell, prepared to do the most wicked and foul deeds possible for his hidden deity, Baphomet, aka Lucifer, Satan, aka Jablon. Now the fatal ending in the spiritual death sign that is taught for this degree is one you will find men giving in the photographs in this chapter. Notably on higher level indicates and objects would typically be seen giving this evil sign stamping them, them as a demon possessed disciple of Satan. I call this a sign. The Hidden Hand of the Men of Jabalon From Washington to Rothschild Regrettably, America's first pres president, George Washington, inhabited this sign if the painter of one of his most famous portraits is to be believed so quick in presidents, men like Franklin Pierce and Rutherford Hades were disciples of Jabalon, as was President Teddy Roosevelt. We also have communities Vladimir, Solomon, Rothschild and many others whose image and pictures you will find in the endorsing pages as they perform the devilish, this devilish sign. Wine from a human skull. Many other facets and activities pertaining to this degree, ritual stamp is a pure as pure Luciferian and its holder as a Lucifer Lucifer worshipper. 
During the incantation into the seventh, the great royal arc mason, York right or thirteenth degree Scottish right, the candidate drinks wine from a human skull. By this act, he reinforces the art. The fact that he has taken an oath swearing to have his skull struck off and his brains exposed to the scorching rays of the me a medical sun. Should he ever divulge Mason Masonic secrets, he goes on to demand that if he does divulge secrets, may all the sins of the dead person whose skull he is drinking from be healed upon his the candidate's head. So we see that the Mason's newfound god Jabalon, Jabalon is a rigid tran taskmaster who does not look kindly on traitors and blabbers. It was the candidate god Baal, of course, to whom the backslidden Jews and pagans sacrificed their children in the fire. You'll recall that the prophet Elijah brought the message of God's judgment against those who worship bloodthirsty Baal, who in reality is merely an adulterous representation of Satan. Yes, Baal is the devil. To attempt in vain to combine the name of the true God, what that of false gods like Baal and On is particularly evil and grievous to the true God in heaven. Yet the mason does exactly this with Jablon, and then compounds his grave error by adopting as one of his chief logos the sign of the double-headed eagle, symbolizing one body of God, two heads. The triple troll. Yet another proof of the deity of the Jablon hoax is the symbol of the triple troll, which is the most important symbol of the royal arc degree, made up of three interlinking tau symbols. T. These three are said to represent a triad of scared Jewish powers of king, priest, and prophet. In other words, the Mason assumes a trinity of Jewish spiritual powers. Actually, this trinity of the Jews is in completion with the true Godhead of the God, the Bible, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The triple troll is the most significant symbol or the logo of the Royal Ark Mason. It represents the Mason who has reached either the seventh degree of the York right or the thirteenth degree of the Scottish right as embodying within the abilities of the Godhead or Holy Trinity by blasphemingly declaring himself to be the great I am that I am those I identifying himself with Satan's promise in the Garden of Eden ye shall be as gods I am that I am, the mason proclaims, equally blasphemous is that in the lecture on the seventh or royal arc degree of the York Rite, the masons entered is asked the question, are you a royal arc mason? His answer is required to be, I am that I am. In other words, in this degree's ritual, the mason has not only acknowledged that the devil in this guise of Jabal, Jabalon, is the scared lord, but he is now, now is declaring that he himself, a mere man, is the great I am, in other words, he is saying, I am God. Uncovering the hidden hand. Now you see why I entitled this chapter The Hidden Hand of the Men of Jabalon. In the early degree, Grees the Mason is told that the name of God has been lost. He is even told that he should use a subtle name for God, 
Marabone, but later, after he swallowed whole the rotten fabric of the Gree ritual, after the Gree ritual, the bamboozled and propagandized fellow is finally told that the one he is to worship goes by the name Javelon, and that he is now ready to declare himself a man as the great I am. Ob obviously the Illuminati Masonically do not want the general public to know these terrible things. After all, incredibly, Freemasonry's public image is that it is some kind of Christian group, so the pretense must be maintained and the secret secrets buttoned up from the profane and vulgar masses, you and me, dear readers. So as you see, the this is why many people won't know about this name, because if, as they take that oath in the Freemasonry, if you just talk out about it, basically they'll kill you, because that's the oath they take. You, c you can't speak out against the Masons, or they'll kill you. Therefore, the name of the horrible God whom the Masons worship must stay hidden. The name and identity, identity of the hidden God must be concealed at all costs, and now some an appropriate hand sign has been diverse to represent this cover-up, the sign of the hidden hand. Sign of the Master of the Second Veil. How to perform the second sign? Figure 34 shown here is taken directly from Duncan's Masonic Ritual and Monitor 3rd edition. It pictures the Royal Ark Mason performing the magical sign of the Masters of the Second Veil, which I informally and more informally call here the sign of the Hidden Hand of the Men of Jabalon. According to Duncan's, the candidate presents the, this sign when he is approached by the three sojourners from Babylon. Three objected, objected rebuild the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem and eventually establish a world empire of the Jews. In his teaching course of on ancient masonry, C.C. Zayn of the Brotherhood of Light explains that the ritual for this degree requires a keen understanding of astrology, but its performance is said to be deferred from a passage in the scriptures the sign is made right Zane by thrusting the hand into the bosom and again drawing it out, the official Masonic explanation for the sign, a myth intended to, to divert the profane from the truth. Is it, is that it refers to the fourth chapter of Exodus in the Bible? And the Lord said unto Moses, Put now thy hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was as snow. Lurperus indeed is the hand of the mason who vainly seeks to hide and cover up his vides of, of alliance to Javelot, his scared God. But believe me, there is no relationship of the Mason to Moses, a prophet of God who loyally worshipped the true I Am, the God who regions for eternity in heaven. So as you see, basically there, this, this, as I said, not many people are going to know about this, but this is how they hide. The Masons, this is how they hide. So basically, they'll use stuff out of the Bible and to try cover themselves so nobody finds out who they really worship. See, because the devil has got many names. His, his names don't just Satan and Lucifer. He's got many names. George Washington, and a Masonic pose around his neck, is the emblem 
of the moon goddess, the feminine complex cumbland to the sun god Osiris, secretly worshipped in a cult Freemasonry, this emblem emblem combined with the diamond shaped device just above it indicates that Washington had taken the vow of vengeance to all enemies of the order of the Illuminati which basically means anybody that as we know in the end times basically anybody that doesn't accept the new world order that the Antichrist will basically kill the Americans de Lafayette of France presented George Washington with this Masonic apron, which is now preserved in the library of the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. It contains many occult symbols, the meaning of which presumably is reserved for higher level Masonic brethren, many, however, are out, out, outstused and explained in this book to the charging, I am sure, of the Masonic Brotherhood, as we see the ego, emblem of the exorcist order of Chincho, also called the so Society of Chinchati, worn by the elite members, the secret society met in private and was headed by George Washington. Artwork from a China set which displays symbols important to the society of the Chinchatini, a secret order of elitist rich men begun after the revolutionary war headed by George Washington. The symbols include a strange crowned angel blowing a horn and a phoenix bird with a torch, a flame in its head from which issues a swirling fire or sun sign. The society of the Illuminati was eventually disbanded when public awareness grew that. See, this is, this is what happened. You'll see when many people say that the Illuminati was basically disbanded and basically died out. The only reason that really happened is because, as I've said many times, if the whole world woke up to what the Illuminati were doing and who they really serve, the Illuminati would disband again because they wouldn't be able to brainwash anybody. That's what happened back then. Everybody was awake to it because there wasn't many of the basically Freemasons back then, so they didn't stand a chance. Everybody was awake, so they ran, because they were going to get killed. The public awareness grew that this small band of conspirators seemed to be exercising undue control of governments, and it was put to a stop. And then they basically ran off and... Now the Illuminati now is bigger than it was because they found that document. In the takes of many occult societies, including Masons, Rothschilds, Salete, Mark, Peculiar to them, which they afflict to their signature, this is George Washington's signature. See if you can find his mark. I don't really know because it's in black and white. President George Washington takes the oath of us office as the first president of the United States. And what you gotta remember as well, who controls the politics and the presidents, the devil. The devil controls everything in this world and basically even things in your home like TV and that is indoctrinate, being indoctrinated into your subconscious day in day out with, even without you knowing. The United States following the adoption of the US construction by the states 
The gentleman standing directly behind him is giving him a directly de bollock version of a secret society hand sign. G. Washington Master Mason by Alan G. Roberts. Marquee Publishing and Masonic Supply Co. Inc. Richmond, Virginia. Sketch by Ronald La Who. Many paintings and drawings depicting delegates who draft and approve the de delic declaration of independence shall one one or more of the delegates secretly identifying his secret society membership through a hand signal. The name of Jesus is never mentioned in either of the declaration of independence or the subsequent United States construction. Instead, our nation's founder used vulgar, illuministic, coded terms like nature, Nature's God or Providence. See out so as you see where they say that stuff like God bless America God was never blessing America from the start Because America didn't follow God. This is proof. George Washington never Was was serving the Antichrist The it is proof they never ever this is who founded the American De Independence, as we know, Independence Day. It's not where you see on the back of the US dollar, it says, in God we trust, it's not God. They just use that as a disguise. These people don't follow God. They never have, they never did. It, America was never blessed by God. It was blessed by the Antichrist. Because blessings of the world is not of God. Getting thousands of money is not a blessing from God. Benjamin Franklin, a key leader of the delegates, was both a Grand Ma Master Mason Lodge of nine sinister Paris fronts and Thomas Jefferson, who helped draft the declaration of independence or fabulity of the order of the illuminati and its found founder european jesuit professor adam wesselberg as we know we all know who that person is he wanted religion destroyed completely as we say the poster shown America's first president, George Washington, as a mason, is distributed by the George Washington Masonic National Mem Memorial Association. It was printed in the Scottish Rite. What's the Scottish Rite? The Freemason Lodge. Journal, August 1992. So, as we see, this is what who they really served, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, they never served God, it was never about God, it was just a nation founded by the Antichrist. US Civil War officers displaying the Masonic sign of the Brotherhood of Jabalon let, left is Major Robert Anderson of the Confederate Army and at right is General George McClellan, Union General of the Army of the Politic Photos from the Florida Mason, January 2004. So as you see, they're all doing the same thing. Russian occult publisher of Moscow brought Hindu and theological teachings to Russia he also published some books of Lu Russian mystical Helena. So as we see, this this is how Hinduism was com made up. Of what John Wyke's booth left, a well-known stage actor with his brothers and a producing 
production of Caesar. Caesar, as we know, the Romans basically worshipped him as a god. In 1864, just a year before, he has assassinated Pre President Abraham Lincoln. Booth and his elder brother, Edwin, were both members of the Masonic Lodge. But because of John Will Nor Norty, the Freemasons quietly removed his name from their roles. To this day, the Scottish Rite's membership of office ma maintains that only brother Edwin was a Mason. Photo from Brooke. Bork American Brothers by Michael W. K. Kaufman as we see they're all doing the unsign. This photograph Hunt Rhodes is from 1993 book entitled Freemasons at Gettysburg by Sheldon A. Mon. The caption above the photograph said that L.T. Rhodes was a member and worship worshipfully master the the engravement of the lodge president of harmony lodge canston rhode island he was also the grand master of the grand lodge of the rhode island in 1892 to 1893 also throwing up the Freemason John J. chosen by Pres President George Washington and confirmed by the newly assembled U.S. Senate to be the first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. Former Secretary of State Colin Palo holds hands with P.O.L. leader Yasser, I can't pronounce that name, second name, or Fat, as he covertly places his right hand in his coat, a sign to other indicate Palo is a 33 degree Mason and a Council on Foreign Relations. The later firm was also a member of the Masonic Lodge. See, they only do the sign to show their alliance and show you they really served, meaning the Freemasons. Both President Franklin Pierce, above and President Rutherford B. Hayes, below are acknowledged to have been Masons in a 40 book, 100,000 famous Freemasons and official publication of the Supreme Mother Council, Scottish Rite Freemasons. Rutherford Hayes, President of the United States, 1822 to 1893, also got his hand inside. USA President Teddy Roosevelt Seen reviewing the troops on board, a Navy ship is given the secret sign of the followers of the god Jabalon. Was it Teddy who once said, speak softly and keep your hand well hid? Or was that, speak softly and carry a big stick? Karl Marx, the Jewish radical who inspired Lenin and with his communist furies was a secretly a high priest of Satan. C. Richard Wormband's book, Marx and Satan, shown here in his official portrait, Marx is given an a Masonic hand sign, C. Richardson's monitor of Freemasonry, both of them thrown at the Masonic. Freemason hand sign. Vladimir Lin, Jewish Mason who led the communist overthrow of the seer and Russia, gives the hidden sign of the man who worshipped the god Jabalon Len and his cohorts established the red terror and brutal massacre of tens of billions. See, this is what many people don't know that every single country is controlled by the elite. There's a mason in every single country.
every single like Vladimir Putin, he's a Freemason, they're all Freemasons. The politicians and the politicians are controlled by the government, controlled by the New World Order and the Illuminati. General Paul von Hindenburg, the notable World War I German war hero of the Russian Front, who won numerous victories later in the Nazi era, a blimp named after the general, the Hin Hindenburg, was destroyed by flames while attempting to land in New Jersey, USA after a celebrated trans flight, many lives were lost. Three red communistic hero heroes conspired to establish a dictatorship in Russia. These men saw to the purge, torture and death of untold thousands before they in turn were wiped out by Starling. Sen is displaying his Masonic Jabalon Hansing signal right where's the Illuminati as you see both of them are doing it and there we go with the Statue of Liberty this is where it all started four go cam commandments note that all four are given the secret sign of Jewish Freemasonry just as the communities and founding father the Jewish Masonic Mason Karl Marks Sculpture Bever was a member of Paris, France, Grand Orton Lodge. It was Berthold, 1834 to 1904, who sculptured the Illuminati's monumental Statue of Liberty, which now graces New York's harbor. The statue is with secret society coded messages and symbols of particularly blasphemous nature, yet the vast majority of Americans adore the Statue of Liberty and never see in her own, only virtue and good, godness. Godness. I mean, we know that this statue was created by the Illuminati. I mean, it looks like a star that's connected to some worship. It's all pagan. In the mid-19th century, French writer Victor Hugo, author of Les Miserables, caught a huge swath in occult circles. Here we see the mid mystical-minded Hugo giving a clear hand sign of Masonic Luciferian design. It was Victor Hugo who wrote the story the man who laughs about a boy who face it, who, whose face has been horribly shaped into a permanent spiral fell for disc butchers tale was the basics for batman's joker character it was alleged that victor hugo was not only a rosicrucian but was also a grand master of the occult order known as the Priory of Ice of Sion. In, in this ad for Hitachi Electronics, Napoleon is using the left-handed path dark occultism of magic and Napoleon was also reputed to be an Illuminatus an indictate into the great greater mystery's applied degree know also the sun sign badge now we find yet another indentation of Napoleon's secret society environment wearing red the color of Rothschild and blood Napoleon sig signifies his left hand path orientation the symbology of the free towered church in the background of the painting behind the curtain signifies the boast that Napoleon a political soul region is also lord over the spiritual realm 
In this famous painting of Napoleon, the Emperor is depicted using his right hand in giving the Royal Art Mason hand sign. As we see, Irish American political and author caused a sedition in 1882 with his book, Atlantis, the word dominantly claimed scientific evidence for the existence of the fabled lost canoe of Atlantis, which shrunk under the sea, Redis of modern civilization, Don Lee's book even contained a chart showing the alleged evolution of alphabets from the time of Atlantis to the eras of Mayans, Egyptians, and Hebrews, exactly. So this is where it all started. I mean, this is where it all started, evolution from a Freemason, and then we all know that Charles Darwin basically came up with it again. The Illuminati elite of today believe they are indeed descended from the god, men, and priests who alone escaped the tragic fail fall of the flabbed Atlantis more recently, Disney Studios, did a movie, Atlantis, based on the theme, a movie saturated with historic codes and symbols. Crown Prince Alexandra Yusuva, who now resides in London, the city where his father, the late King Peter, fled during the Second World War, is shown on his first trip to Belgrade, in 1991, his royal highness, along with his family, pose, posted for his photo based on his hand's position. The crown prince clearly wanted his secret society associates and the Masonic occult world to know he was one of them and that the elite's power has now been established in the former Soviet bloc nation. The fabulously wealthy Solomon Rothschild, founder and overseer of the Vienna, Australia branch of the Rothschild clan. How deeply was the Vatican and its black pope of the Jesuit order involved in the 1865 plot to assassinate President Abraham Lincoln, Burke McCarthy, 1924 book suppressed truth about the assassination of Abraham Lincoln alleges that the powerful and influential and secret of the papal state under Pope supervised the plot from afar and even hid a murderous associate of assassin John Whit both in the Vatican State where he, he, he had fled to protect him from execution by American authorities who saw his extradition. In the book, Research in the Coffee includes this photo of Cadet Tony without, however, explaining the obvious secret society hand sign. Origin is often called an earthly church father, but in fact, Origin brought many heresies, including Gnosticism, Illuminati ideology, into the church. Origin, a much quoted scholar, hailed from Alexander, Egypt, giving us yet another clue to his heretic theological in this revealing pen and link drawing. It appears to left hand is. Rising the mystery sign of the ancient secret society. So as we see, the issue of the entrying publication magazine include a feature article examining the tragic life of popular young actor who died of a drug overdose on Halloween in nineteen. Night three, the article's writer told of Phoenix upbringing in the, the sordid sex cult known as the Children of God, also called the Family. The cult practices 
incest, holy prostitution, and other wickedness, River Phoenix, who was celebrated for his roles in such movies as Stand By Me and Running On Empty. Evidently could not escape his past, why he is shown in the photo giving the, the sign of masonry is not mentioned in the magazine, but some authorities say the ch that Children of God leader David Berg high, had high level political and Masonic lodge connections, I mean, he would have that. Lord Sheer Wright with actor James Dean in the early 1950s wrote the famous Colin Walter Scott's person personality parade in the parade magazine. War is hell, said this crusty and brutish Union General William Sherman, shown here displaying the sign of the Jabal Jabalan Colm in this official U.S. Army photo, hundreds of civil civilians were massacred during Sharon's fiery march through the South. And as we see, this is ancient. See how they're putting around the like the Masons do. So far back it goes. Three real figures belonging to a new. Nubrum Temple, each carries the the Egyptian Anak, signifying rebirth and reincarnation in one hand. Other symbols are also seen drawing book the round towers of Lo of Atlantis by Henry O'Brien Adventures Unlimited Press Kempton. So as we see, our Republican Party convention. Sonver depicting President Ronald Reagan, the website offering it for sale, describes it thrustly from the 1980s convention a smiling Ronnie and a Napoleonic stance. Reagan was given the honorary, honorary 33 degree by Scottish right leaders in a private ceremony conducted in the lame duck president's old Oval office in Washington D.C. just weeks before his second and final term ended. The author has a picture of the set of the ceremony in his files. So there you go. This is the real truth. And this is some more evidence than that, and the reason why many people get confused in that today like a lot do is because Satan is basically we know about what happened to the King James Bible and that because Satan's tried to mess with the Word of God and confuse people and it this is why many people are getting confused in that today because Satan has basically tried to corrupt the Word of God to make people confused and never know the truth. So he basically, as we know, twists the Word of God into lies. But well, as we see here, what Satan can't hide is itself from who he, re he can't, he can use whatever name he wants, but he can't hide who he really is, and everybody can see right through who he is. Let me first name these so-called gods, and later elaborate their connection to our news and their origins, cultural evolution, all above mentioned media memes seem to relate to Jubileon, Jabalon, Janus, Baphomet, Ea, Eneki, etc., which are, in my opinion, practically the same entity. So let's reobserve the relating news step by step. 
Vatican in reality isn't real by the Pope himself, but a giant spider, extra spider. What it basically is, they believe in this. It's a really twisted agenda, and they basically believe in this spider god. This is what the Illuminati believe. I am convinced that there is much more to discover in the recent news relating to to all that, but not digging. Mystical, logical analysts, unholy dualities, trinities, bala, jabalon, balloon, or jabalon. Jabalon is the name of a demonic, certain, free-headed, and monstrous god. A Allegedly worshipped by the higher ranks of Royal Ark Masonry. Now, if you don't know what this means, the Royal Ark Masonry is the Freemasons. It's basically a Masonic Lodge. This is what they called the self Royal Ark. Because when you're basically injected into the Freemasonry, a cult. When you get higher up in the ranks, as we know, they'll give you more knowledge of their occult knowledge. And as soon as they see that you're not comfortable with it, they won't tell you anymore because you're basically a threat. Conjured as Baal. One of the 72 demons mentioned in the Lesser Key of Solomon, Ariscaratia, or Gotia. In some rituals of Crowley's, we all know who Crowley is, Otio, Ordo Tempius, or Renatus, and perhaps by other heteral cult sects, too. Now we look at the triangle, this actually exists, this is actually on a Freemason ring. This ring actually does exist. You look at the look at the pyramid, Ja Bol No. Basically the ba the Freemasons basically say this is their unknown name of God. It doesn't mention this once in the Bible, but this is what they believe that this is what they believe that it's this, that it's this creature, and it's very demonic. Basically, it's a spider with three heads, a cat, a frog, and a man that basically looks like an elf, and he looks like he's that old. Also, the king we know in. Uh, we know with England, the Queen of England wears the same similar crown like that, so... Jubilon appears in the shape of a giant spider, with three heads, a man, a cat, and a toad. His spider-like body could explain the origin of virus spider web symbol Lisms used in Masonic tem temples, e.g., globes wrapped in a spider web. The spider web originates on the dollar note, and the sentence "Weaving spiders come not here," found as inscription at infamous Bofferman Grove. Well, I, I can tell you one thing: there's no such god that is in the shape of a spider. This is just really, really demonic. The name Jubilon derives from three different gods, two pagan and one Judiac. Ja refers to Yahweh. Baal is a variation of Babylonian Baal and on is the Egyptian invocation word for God, Osiris. Therefore, Jubilon is a free 
therefore mighty entity who means a perverted unholy trinity so as you see they've basically twisted the trinity into their, their satanic agenda because there's there's no such god as this this is not a god this is a this is just messed up there's no there's no spider that's a god and as we know with spider spider's not even known as a cre creature or an animal it's a mute basically a mutant Therefore, a scene of three different cultures, which are the well-known main sources of the Masonic belief system, Judaism, Bolognism, Semitic, Patreon, and Egyptian beliefs. An alternate explanation for the term Jubilin is given by some Hebrew ingest, according to the tide man the three symbols would mean yah equals i am ball equals high in heaven and on equals mighty full of strength interestingly if one takes just the three most important babylonian gods namely anarchy ea creator of mankind environment of elastic god neptune Bao Bo, God of the Earth, and Anu An, God of the Sky, and vocalized them, them in a row quickly enough the name of Jablon emerges E A B Bol An Jablon. According to this version, Jabalonian one defies the three realms of war, earth and heaven. We see three different interpretations of ori origin seem equally plausible. Janus, Ianus. Ianus is one of the oldest Roman deities. He is the dualistic god of doors, gates, passages, doorways, transitions, and checkpoints, the ruler of every beginning and ending. The term January equals Rio de Janeiro is a prominent in Lumistic remain of his worship as Inus was the gatekeeper to the new Syracalistic year. In Roman calendars, the first month of the year, Janus was dedicated solely to his Adoration, Iris means door in Latin, and God, I had opened the gate to a new temporal cycle in late winter. I mean, all this is really just a cult belief because there's all there's only one God, and it does say in Exodus if there's any of it. Basically, says in Exodus, if there's any other God. Even if there's any other gods, the false gods. So even if these gods exist, they're not true gods, the false gods, false idols. There's only one true god, which is Amuel, Lord. There, he is the only true god, there's only one god, the creator, these are false gods. The goddess Shiva are not, are not true gods, the false gods. I mean the name like God of Destruction, I mean sims it up quite well, I mean it's not a very nice god is it? Because the goddess and Shiva basically just comes down and slaughters everyone for no reason, that's what they believe. That's why they've basically got that on in front of the CERN building. I and us representing the sun, as we know sun god, the sun worship which is pagan and connected to the devil. 
Basically, they believed that the sun was a god and they could get knowledge and power from the sun. Representing the soul was said to be brother counterpart of goddess Diana Jana, goddess of moon and wildlife. Nowadays, the Janus are a class of white robed, evil and fairy like female entities known in certain beliefs. According to Roman tradition, Ion or Janus was also the creator of abstract beginnings, namely time, past, present, future, religion, the world, and every earthly life. Lies. This is not true. This is not. This is not in the name of God. Janus is, or Janos, however it's pronounced. It's not in the name of God. This is not mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. It's not mentioned in any Bible. Bible. The name Anos. It's not the name of God. It, basically, the same. These false two-headed gods create the world. Lies by the devil. This is what the devil does. He's basically promoted all these agendas to keep people enslaved and away from the truth, never knowing the truth. That's why many people can mostly struggle understanding certain Bible verses, because that's what Satan wants. Because as we know, Satan has tried to corrupt the Bible a lot of times. And we look here, past earthly life, he was the watcher over human activities or changing events such as maturing to adulthood, births and funerals, travel, trade, marriages as well over every other traditional in human life. In short, Annas was considered as, as the primary keeper, ruler over time and human life. Hey, as Annas could easily see in two directions of everything, time and space, past and future, good and evil, he is always depicted as a twin-like two-headed dualistic entity. Because the culture procession to something free-headed seems an easy and quite logical step for me, because many Jewish and Trinity cults are closely into it is important for many topic tr topic to mention that the Roman cult around orig originates from the much older children cult of Baal. Ines, one or, um, so as we see, this was a cult, so, because as we know what did the Roman and the gladiators do, they worship, this. I mean, if you've ever seen stuff like Spartacus and stuff like that, I don't recommend watching it, as all it promotes is sex, but if you've ever seen any Roman thing, you'll see that they always say gods, they don't say one god. They always say we're blessed by the gods because the Romans basically believed that there was more than one god. Basically they were created by loads of gods. We were created by one god which is Jesus Christ. Obviously even the associations to the above mentioned Jabalon Trinity are very close because the twins of can be compared with the cult of Lightbearer and his trinity. Miraharus represents either the son himself or he is known at least as close friends of Hellas, while the duality of twin brothers cult catapults are depicted on his sides, pointing their sun torches in opposite directions, upwards and downwards, thereby those representing dawn and dust, thereby the godly group forms both a duality and 
a trinity at the same time. If we think of Rio de Janeiro, river of Anus, and the Olympic torch, the sun, mirrors light, it becomes apparent that there must be a symbolic merging of twin god Janus and the trinity are butting a huge ritualistic meaning to the 2016 games a long time beforehand. Feel the less Baphomet connection. The holy li lily, Madonna, lily, flower without equal or flower de less isn't by coincidence one of the most enduring and prevalent symbols in heterodox direct use throughout history. The symbolic use of genus Lino Cano de Lerm has its very roots in ancient Cimarron and Egypt tradition. Notice that it's always an Egyptian connection though, which is how you know that's connected to the devil. Anything connected to Egypt guarantees connected to the devil. And as this plant grew on the slopes of mountains near the Sumerian territory, the Egyptians absorbed the lily worship in their belief system, as did later the various dynasties, bloodlines of Europe, monarchy, the clearly as e.g. Jesuits, the military and in modern days even the founders of Masonic Boy Scouts by adding the lily to their blossoms, just to name a few parties using this flower. As Christian symbol, the lily is associated to the Virgin Mary and sometimes to the Archangel Gabriel. Other interpretations suggest that the lily is a representative Presentation of the Holy Trinity, but for all that official interpretation, which are quite narrow and one dimensional, there is a much deeper and darker non Christian meaning behind this. Three headed pointed flower symbol at second glance, which also could easily explain why, while virus delubis elitist groups, royal or Silic seem to have a strong affinity to the scared f scarred flower. We will see that for these powerful secret societies, the true lily deception fiction is in a really a reality, a simplified coded display of a pagan pre-Christian triad of gods. As we see, giant human red goat fit, as we know these false gods where they be, be promoting movies that basically a fish god and all that. Covenly, the ancient Egyptian god, I mean, notice that it looks like a goat, the devil. We look at it, Mendes has been depicted as Ramhead. Entity, the goat of Mendes, and Man Ram Fish, being the highest deity of Mendes, was a congregate of the Baal of Osiris. Osiris is the devil, equals on, and his bride, the fish goddess. Together with their heavenly child, equals the baby Horus, this duality of gods form the mighty trinity triad. This never happened, I mean, there's only one god. This is actually the flower of the devil, this. This that you see here is the flower of the devil. It's actually used in Saints Rome. If you look at the game Saints Rome, you'll see this, this exact same logo and flower. This is why it's used in, you'll see it's used in witchcraft and all that. Inspired by depictions of 19th century occultist, there we go, occultist, created in his book, Baphomet of Mendes. 
Levi, classic image of Baphomet, bears a striking remembrance to the scared lily. So, the flower. Note as well the two horned horns and the great Olympic torch in the middle of the head and the two arms pointing up and downwards which strongly remind of Miss and his twin companions cultures. Various pictures of Baphomet are openly used by a multitude of satanic cults, sects and, and groups whereas the lily flower symbol being a more discreet version of it is applied as a pagan emblem by the official Benovian groups of power, royalists, Jesuits, boy scouts, etc. In a nutshell, the goat god named Baphomet and the lily are exactly the same regarding their meaning. One could speak of the casual and the former version. Both tell of being an acknowledged or covert worship of a non-Christian pagan goat trinities as we as I said this is the flower look up the game Saints Rome you'll see this low this exact same logo it's the flower of the devil this is what this is known as and it's also connect you'll see it in witchcraft all over the place P.S. It is very possible that the medieval jester's cap or dunce cap clown joker shapeshifter trickist god with its three horns on bell's bow equally refers to the summary Egyptian god. Trinities and therefore to demon Baphomet as well so as you see all this god that they say that's called Ja, well at least I just forgot it now. Jabalon, basically Jabalon. Jabalulon, yeah. This is not a god. This is what the occult elite worship and believe in. In reality, this is a Satan in disguise again. This is a Satan.